Uh, also, uh, he was on his way to the uh, to Air Force One. Uh, I guess he's is he going to uh, India? Is that where he's yeah, at? I, I, Kamala's out running around somewhere, yeah. and so he's it, doing the I back half of that now. Okay, yeah. yeah, he's not doing the full. So he's headed to India, I believe. Yeah. Here's his walk to the plane yesterday. It's <laughs> salutes the uh, Secret Service. <laughs> he's leaning on her. Okay, God, let me just mosey. Uh, Hello, uh, weak ass. He uh, saluted the Secret Service. Yeah. What in the hell? Short stairs. He doesn't. He yeah. Oh yeah, the short stairs. And and by the way, people are noticing now. Other than us. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, though. NPR (laughs) has noticed and written about the fact that he's. Why is Joe Biden now taking the short stairs <laughs> on Air Force One? It's one of the iconic images, they write, of the American presidency. The commander-in-chief standing and waving to the cameras from the top of the stairs leading to Air Force One. But recently, President Biden has been avoiding climbing up the sometimes wobbly 18-foot staircase that's trucked over to the plane's upper door. More often than not, He's using a much shorter and sturdier <laughs> set. Sturdier. So they're blaming the f- stairs for this because yeah. they're wobbly. Come on. Uh, <laughs> well, you remember they blamed the wind for that uh, when he fell three times up the stairs. Oh, yeah. That was a windy yeah, wind. day when it was like wind. six miles per hour or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Biden, 80, has stumbled on the tall stairs more than once. The short stairs have the distinct advantage of moving most of Biden's ascent into Air Force One out of the public view. Right. Thank Again, in thanks for a, noticing. In behind yes. a parked car. Yes. But for those who have noticed the shift, it also draws attention to one of Biden's greatest political liabilities as he seeks re-election. His age. Yep. Biden had been using the short stairs now and then since taking office, but an NPR review of two databases of news uh, and the photographs show that there's been a dramatic change since June. That's when Biden tripped over a sandbag and fell on stage. Yeah, they they want to avoid that at all costs because it's such a bad visual. I mean, even if you're completely spry, you know, they don't want... The American people are going to be worried if you keep falling all the time. Well, they claim that they still roll out the big stairs for the for the big events and the mm. red carpet events. Mm. So I guess this, I guess mm-hmm. the, the stairs show up then, uh, easy enough to find at an airport on the tarmac. Yeah, because they try to make you believe that. Well, you know, it's, we have to find find those uh, those raggedy stairs that mm-hmm. he walked. Okay, and they also go on to say that uh, uh, W. Use the short stairs out of security concerns, uh, you know, around 9-11. Former Tr- uh, Donald Trump used the short stairs more than Obama, though fewer times in total in his four years uh, than Biden has to this point. So <laughs> fewer times in four years Correct. than Biden has in two. I would wow. also uh, estimate that in the hundred or so years we've been uh, uh, recording uh, video of our president's <laughs> Mm-hmm. This one has probably tripped more than all others combined yeah. on camera. Okay, and the interesting thing about that yeah, is... Yeah, they had to go back to Bob Dole. Yeah. Uh, Gerald Ford yeah. fell once. And that was his legacy. And that was alive. And forever. And Bob he was Dole the wasn't guy even president. Who's right. clumsy. Yeah, and Bob he Dole wasn't stage, even president. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's so obvious. The bias is so obvious. Oh, my gosh. I mean, when people... When people think or mention Gerald Ford, what's the first thing you think of? <laughs> Him falling. Chevy Chase. A Chevy Chase mm-hmm. bit where he fall, falls all the time. <laughs> this guy is... Right, right. If Saturday Night Live decrepit. wants to honor their legacy, yeah. then every week they would have a skit that yeah. shows a Joe Biden impersonator falling. Yeah. And even though he didn't fall, that that shuffle to the plane yesterday. Oh, Watch yeah. this again. It, it, it just... Accentuates every walk his age is painful. every time. Look how painful this is as he walks to. Okay. I'm telling you, he's leaning on her, man. I think he is. Yeah. Okay, don't leave. Don't, All right, okay. let me just. Oh. Okay, he walked me most of the way. This is dangerous. Heel toe. Salute Heel toe. the Heel toe. Secret Service. I mean, this is a big challenge getting up those stairs for him. Yep. He's hanging on for dear life. Now, now, we'll get to it later, but he's got a new campaign ad out. Mm. That you have to see, 
And just, there'll be just a quick nanosecond of him at the bottom stairs. Him and uh, and that guy that's laundering money in Ukraine, uh, Zelensky. Mm-hmm. And you and you're like, no, 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 no! Don't just show one clip of this because they're at the bottom of these stairs. You're like, I want to see this, and we never did get to see. I nah. never saw it uh, yeah. when it happened. You'll see shortly. It's All right. it's fascinating. Uh, but it seems like even CNN might be done with Joe. Yeah. Uh, here's how they opened one of their programs yesterday. Oof, problematic Oof. new polling numbers out this morning for <laughs> President Biden. The Oof. CNN poll finds his approval rating sinking to just 39 percent. Democrats on notice poll. as the 2024 it's race for CNN the White knows. House heats up. Among voters' concerns, <laughs> yeah. Biden's age. Just They're saying. worried about his we mental and physical competence, oh, along no. with how well he understands mm-hmm. the concerns of future generations of Americans. <laughs> Another big issue, the economy. 58% say Biden's policies have made economic conditions 58%. worse. 58%. Wow. You realize yeah. how much he sucks at the economy. So that's more than just Republicans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. are taking note that this guy sucks in every way. Every way. He's not capable of being our president, and yet he sits in the Oval Office still. Why? Why? Uh, One of the polling questions they had in their survey was about Joe's possible involvement in Hunter's illegal business dealings. Oh. We're talking about, Dana, here, the time when he was vice president, right? Whether Joe Biden was involved in Hunter Biden's business dealings at the time he served as vice president. Overall, if you look here, 61 percent of Americans think Joe Biden was involved. You can see partisanship drives this, right? Obviously, nearly all Republicans, 90 percent, believe that. This has been a major storyline and talking point on Fox News and elsewhere. 64 percent of independents believe that oh, Biden okay. was involved so in that Hunter's happen? business uh-huh. dealings. 28 percent of Democrats. Wow. <laughs> and I want to show you That's of that 61 percent overall there that believe uh, he had Watch dealings. This. 42% Dana think that Joe Biden acted illegally when he was vice president in those business dealings. Of course he did. Uh, 38% say not involved. 18% said he acted unethically but not illegally. But that is a significant number right. as well. Yeah, yeah. So 60% say wow. he was either, at the very least, unethical. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and th- this CNN poll had so many fascinating numbers in it. Um, and one of the stats was 70% of the country... Uh, thinks things are going badly. I mm. should be higher, obviously. No kidding. But still, mm-hmm. you got seventy percent of Americans saying, "Yeah, things suck." Mm-hmm. That shouldn't be a guy who's going to get eighty-one million votes. I say. <clears throat> wow, Come, coming up. It's hey. a bold statement. Yeah, I, I, it's bold. I don't anticipate eighty-one million votes again. Huh? huh. What do you What do you anticipate? 83? 84? 85, yeah. probably ninety. Hundred million disapproval rating sixty one percent only thirty eight percent I think in that poll so eighty two 